Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. A team of scientists from across the U.S. is developing a potential new treatment that could prevent sudden cardiac death. The team, which includes scientists from Harvard Medical School, Stanford University School of Medicine, the University of Colorado, as well as biotech company Myocardia Incorporated, has found a way of inhibiting the genetic mutation that causes hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, the condition that is a leading cause of sudden cardiac death. When mice carrying the mutation were given the treatment, their hearts developed normally without developing the condition. This treatment is based on the work of David Warshaw, a professor at the University of Vermont College of Medicine, who identified the mutation that causes hypertrophic cardiomyopathy 15 years ago. The paper on this new potential treatment and Dr. Warshaw's commentary on its significance are both published in the journal Science. Next up, keeping tabs on viral outbreaks could soon be easier than ever thanks to a new portable genome sequencing laboratory. Genome sequencing is an important tool during an outbreak because it allows researchers to track the evolution of the virus. But the longer it takes to get that information, the less useful it can be. That's why the prospect of reliable, real-time, in-the-field genome sequencing is so exciting. Last year, during West Africa's Ebola outbreak, epidemiologists and diagnosticians tested a genome sequencing laboratory in a suitcase, which included a lightweight DNA sequencer. This allowed samples to be analyzed on location instead of being shipped to off-site laboratories. Sequencing information was generated in as little as a day, better enabling healthcare workers to track and eventually halt the deadliest Ebola outbreak ever. The study on the Portable Genome Sequencing Lab is published in the journal Nature. And finally, researchers at the University of Michigan are building a better football helmet. The helmets currently in use by the NFL are designed to protect players from skull fractures, but they aren't very good at protecting against brain injuries. The UM researchers, working with funds provided in part by the NFL, are creating a new kind of helmet that will be capable of safely absorbing what's known as impulse, which is what transmits the kinetic energy of an impact through an object. Blocking impulse is crucial to protecting the brain. The new helmet prototype, named Mitigatium, reduced the impulse absorbed by the brain to 20% of what is absorbed while wearing a conventional helmet. It also performed better at blocking peak force, which is the skull fracturing part of an impact. Which is great news! As long as we're going to give our money and attention to a sport that requires players to get smashed in the head over and over again, the least we can do is, you know, protect their brains and stuff. The paper on the Mitigatium prototype helmet is published in the Journal of the Mechanics and Physics of Solids. A new treatment could help to prevent sudden cardiac death, a portable genomics laboratory helps fight viral outbreaks, and a redesigned helmet could help to protect the athletes who risk serious brain injury for our entertainment. That's the good news. Hey everybody, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and share it and subscribe to this channel if you're not subbed already. And also please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. Right, Adikins? Wasn't there like a football thing over the weekend? I didn't watch it. Did you watch it? Yeah.